many agricultural practices explain how our life should be and it explains how we should grow in the kingdom of our father so you can see the mystery behind the growth and the development of the church by looking carefully at many agricultural practices and explaining these realities in the kingdom of Christ. So you can use agricultural practices to explain the mystery of the kingdom. Among these practices is the principle of aging. The principle of aging. Many destinies needs to be aged around. Many destinies needs to be aged round about by the power of the Almighty God. The edge is defense. The edge is the protection. The edge is the preservation. The edge is the power surrounding us. Because they that be with us are greater than they that be with the world. So there are forces around the church and these forces represent the ministry of angels. So the power that is with us is greater than the power that is in the world. So we can make use of the power of God in us to command and to control the ministry of angels. We can call upon the ministry of angels in the days of trouble. So there is a principle called the principle of aging. And this principle is at work. Isaiah the prophet saw this mystery of aging. I will build a vineyard and end it round about and fence it round about. I will place a wall of defense. The wall of defense that is in the church is God. So God is our wall of defense. In Isaiah chapter 5, you see the mystery of aging explained by prophet Isaiah. The principle of aging. So in the realm of the spirit, there is a war around you. And that war is God. The totality of that war is God. So by the power of the almighty God, you have the ministry of angels at work. Prophet Elijah and Prophet Elisha engaged the ministry of angels in the old dispensation. That is the principle of aging. That is the principle of aging. You need to guide your spirit, soul, and mind. You guide your body, your flesh, and your bone, and your blood, so that you can grow spiritually, you grow mentally, and you grow physically. You need aging to grow. The edge will guide you away from the enemies. The edge will guide you away from the forces in the universe so that you can grow in this universe. A garden cannot grow unless it is edge roundabout. So for the garden to grow, you have to edge it roundabout. So the principle of edging will allow the vineyard to grow. And the church is the vineyard of God. There is a particular aging that will make us to grow on it. This is spiritual aging. Spiritual aging by the power, by the power of the Almighty God. We need this spiritual aging to grow in the kingdom of our Father on it. The aging, the walls of defense and offense will guide us away from the power of tongues and tears. It will guide us away from the power of sword. It will guide us away from the power of death and air. Nothing of such is permitted to touch us. 
because the aging has been placed around us. If you cannot defend your family, your family cannot grow. If you cannot defend your family, there is no how your family can grow on it. So you need that defense and offense. And God is our defense and offense. He said, I will protect you. Fear not. Be not dismayed. I will guide you in the midst of tribulation. Be anxious for nothing. So there is a particular hedging going on in the church. It has been established right from the foundation of the world. So the power of God is available to guide your family, to guide your finances, to guide all your activities on earth. For the time you will use on earth, the edging is around you. The wall of protection is around you. You have the wall, but your spiritual eyes must be open to see this wall. On the day you receive salvation, there is a divine wall around you, protecting you and guiding you. This wall will not limit your manifestation. Listen to me carefully and get this. This war will not limit your manifestation. This war will allow you to grow on it. So the war is elastic in the realm of the spirit. As you are growing, the war is expanding. As you are growing, the war is expanding. The war will not limit your manifestation. The war will allow you to grow supernaturally in this earthly realm. Hallelujah. So there is a war that will garrison your heart and mind through the power that is in Christ. That war will garrison. It will defend you and fence you round about in a way that it will allow you to grow. So this war will permit your growth. This war will enhance your growth and development in the kingdom of your father on earth. And this war is around the church and in the church. So you must be part of the church before you can engage the principle of urging. So there is a war around you that can pull down every other war. The walls of Jericho cannot stand the walls that is around the church. The children of Israel travel and they encounter Jericho and the wall of Jericho fell down flat. So there is a wall that can fall down flat before your own wall. This is the wall in the world. So the wall around the church can pull down every other walls in the world. So the defense in the church is the greatest defense. And our commander in chief is Christ Jesus. <laughs> and we are the generals of Christ. Walking supernaturally in this natural realm by engaging the principle of aging. So the war around you will not limit your freedom. No, no, no. It will not limit your freedom. Hallelujah. You are free in Christ Jesus. You are free to engage yourself in kingdom business, not in the business of the world. You are not free to engage yourself in the business of the children of the world. You cannot engage yourself in the business of the sinners. You can only engage yourself in the transactions of saints. So the aging around you will permit you to involve yourself and engage yourself in the transactions of the saints. Hallelujah. The principle of aging. 